baby. Nebraska, here we come. Six hours. Got to load some stuff up in the truck and gonna head down, head down 70 here for a few hours. So we need to get going. It's gonna be a late night. All right, just got some T-Bell uh, rolling through Columbia right about now. Picked up the essentials, got a monster. We got about four and a half more, five hours more until we get to our spot. It's looking like the weather's gonna actually cooperate with us. I wish, knock on wood, if I had some, but. It's not wood. I know it's not, but it's just as good. It's all it's all mindset. Anyways, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it turns out really well. Uh, we, these past few years, Nick and I have always battled really, really crappy weather. Like I'm talking like highs in the 40s and lows in the teens or lows in the 20s, raining 30, 40 mile per hour winds. As of right now, they're saying it's gonna be highs in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and high 30s. So that's pretty amazing for this time of year for Nebraska. Uh, yeah, really excited to just get out there and really work these birds. It's, uh, it's gonna be fun. It's this. Why are you filming me, Mr. Cameraman? You're the hunter. Well, for now. Is this a flask? Oh, is there a note in there? Oh, I think I know what it is. I think I know <laughs> what this is. Oh, yeah? Will you be my best man? Absolutely, man. Dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, dude. No one else I'd rather be. Would love to be your best man, man, for sure. Like how much? Uh, as almost as bad as, as I want you to shoot a turkey tomorrow. Like if I shoot a turkey tomorrow, and I know you've got a Nebraska tag, will you just let me like fill my second one? <laughs> <laughs> like that bad? Or if you want to, if you want to buy one, and you think you're gonna shoot two tomorrow, then and you do shoot two tomorrow, I am totally okay with that. <laughs> Let's just focus on getting one. <laughs> What's in here? I don't know. Test it out. Mmm, it's smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's Johnny Walker. Oh yeah. Smooth as they come. This, this is a pretty cool flask. Where'd yeah. you end up getting this from? Oh, you know I got it handcrafted off it. <laughs> some Amazon thing. Nice. <laughs> Tried Etsy, but it took uh, it was like three weeks to get something engraved. So yeah. I was like, I wanted something for this trip. So you didn't even sharpie it on the back, like Nick or anything. Well, I was going, I was going to, I was going to, and then. Emily made actually a really good point. She's like, you know, it's wood, so if you sharpie it, it's just gonna like fade, smear yeah. and fade. So you didn't want to engrave it like yourself? <laughs> no, I would like ruined it, and you'd be like, Fuck. I, I would have moved that. I yeah, I would have ruined that one up. Yeah. No, I, yeah, it's pretty badass. Yeah, it's funny. I was actually like getting to get my groom, groomsman flask too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I so, think it's just kind of a thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but all right. Well, now. Now we've got to kill a bird.
about the whole oh. Big Mike just sent us a text. Oh, did he? Yeah, see what he said. How's your guy's hunts going? Well, Mike, our hunt's not going very well. We haven't seen a bird yet. And we're cold. So, yeah. We'll get back to him on that. I'll see. You. I'll just... I'll, I'll let that one sit for a little bit. And we'll get back to him. All right, Nick and I just drove around for about three hours and saw, I think, two different toms um, and a Jake. Didn't get permission, the one place was leased, so we're heading back to where we were this morning and we're gonna go and set a blind, or actually we're gonna go make a homemade blind uh, up on this real small secluded field that kind of puts us in between their, their roosting spot and the field they like to hit never really hunted this spot but they seem like they're always in there so it should be pretty interesting i'm really excited to hunt it and i can't wait to get in there and put our blind up <laughs> well i guess they're there <laughs> i told you i heard one earlier yeah they're right there that's exactly where i heard it yeah i don't know like what do you, where do you think those birds are going to walk tomorrow I don't know, but they're right, right down there. They're blind. Same bird. What do you think, boss? Well, I'm thinking that we got a pretty good blind set up up here. I like how short it is. I like that there's birds right there. That's probably 150, right? 200. Probably close to that. Tomorrow it's gonna be really windy, so. Yeah. May not even hear them. See their fans. Birds. I never even saw Tom's this morning. Uh, Nick ended up seeing them and started to work over the hill. So, what I did is I grabbed uh, the Reaper 
I tried to see if I could get him to see a fan and pull him back over. By the time I got over there, they had been already gone and pushed on to the next property. So they came up through this gate, up to this opening right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a blind right now for tomorrow morning because I think both days it came out right here in this field. So I think that if we can do this now, it'll benefit us for tomorrow morning. Then we're gonna get on the road and check a few places. Hey, don't forget the park and tailgate. Fuck, I don't, I don't have enough tally marks for turkeys on this thing. Well, uh, Nick and I decided to head north. Uh, we're about two hours away right now from where we were this morning. Um, we're trying to get into some different terrain, get some different birds. We haven't really had a lot of luck actually finding them so far. It's kind of been a little bit odd, but we're gonna go ahead and make our way, keep going the way we're going, and then hopefully be able to swing to where we can hit a bunch of good places during prime time on the way back and see if we can get some more permission. We got a spot set up for tomorrow morning, so basically tonight all we need to do is get some extra permission on some places that have birds on it and possibly see if we can make a move. I can definitely push down on it, so it's definitely low. Oh, Woo. well, I think we deserve a bird after that one. Just changed tire. Uh, we still got a little bit of time yet. We're gonna have to go try to get on some birds. Drove about 600 miles a day. No, probably realistically like 300. Got one flat tire, no birds. So odds aren't too well, but we'll keep trying. That's all you can do. Oh man, it's been a hell of a day. Um, Nate and I have probably, well, let's look at the, look at the uh, odometer. Yeah, we put on probably about a little under 500 miles a day. Um, trying to make something happen. It's real windy today, so trying to get some birds in the field and, you know, do something with them, but couldn't make it happen. Um, didn't really see a whole lot of birds. Saw some right at dark there, um, crossing, actually crossing the road um, onto this public and tried to make a move on them. But I mean, they already had their minds made up. They knew where they were going. So um, yeah, man, it's been real rough. Uh, as you can see, we uh, changed drivers because we did about 11 hours of driving today and. Uh, that's a lot for one person, so we, we changed, and uh, I'm driving right now, but uh, I think we got a good good shot tomorrow. Um, we're going to sit where we did this morning, where we saw those three toms, um, probably about 100 yards from where we actually sat this morning, we're going to sit, and I think we'll have a good, good shot. Um, they came through that spot last two mornings, so... Um, all we can ask for is a little bit of consistency and a little bit of luck and a whole lot of love. So we'll see what happens. Well, it is day three. Uh, we were running on just slight, slight under 12 hours of sleep. Um, currently the team is down. I don't know. I ran out of tally marks on the back of my tailgate, but I'll let you know. Yeah. Day three. We've got a pretty decent setup. I think we're in a give it a whirl. We get set up on a different side of that field, right where they came through the opening. So if we can get in between that and where they want to strut, it should be a pretty interesting morning.
Yeah, baby. You. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, my. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Dude, go. give me some. <laughs> Dude. Go, oh my God. <sighs> they freaking flew down. And we're sitting in the background of these dang decoys. Decoys are at seven yards and they come all the way through and I can't draw. And then I'm sitting there for what, like five minutes at oh, least? Yeah. Just sitting there and the three strutters are just standing there. <laughs> drumming. And I, they're drumming and I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm just waiting for something to go wrong. And uh, I missed the first spin and I was like, oh crap, that was my opportunity. And finally, he spun again and I drew and they, they saw me. Even the one that spun, he got, he got around a lot quicker than I thought he was going to. They all saw me when I drew. And they ran, they stopped, and I pegged this tree, like right here. It was 23 yards. I think I shot him at maybe 24. Anyways, I don't know. I, I think I, I, I think I sent it through his wheelhouse, but I wasn't gonna wait around because I know how turkeys are. So I freaking shot, and I got out of the blind. I freaking hauled over. I ran. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, that fly tire was worth it. <laughs> Spent some tags. <laughs> <laughs>